Hey guys, what's up, it's Eiflin here, and today I'm making a video to let you guys know that I'm actually still alive. I was sick all week last week, which prevented me from recording the audio for my Everything You Need to Know About series, which sucks because I wanted to post a video every single day this month, so we had like a good backlog on the channel for like all this up-to-date information, and then that way, if any frame got any changes or new augments or whatever, we could just throw a link in the description of one of those Everything You Need to Know About videos, and then like it would be a sort of like an up-to-date tree of videos like that branch from one another so that would have been cool but uh, in today's video we're basically just going to be talking about like the future or direction of the Twitch channel and the YouTube channel and we're going to jump into the Twitch channel first so if you've been paying any attention for the past two weeks, I haven't really been streaming on Twitch that much. I could have streamed while I was sick and I did a few times like I was streaming different games but whenever it comes to streaming Warframe specifically, right now I'm at the point where I can only really stream for about two and a half hours uh, without kind of like burning myself out or, you know, basically like getting exhausted of the game or whatever. Uh, I log on, I do my focus farming, I do my sorties, I might do bounties, kuva or relic runs. But there's nothing really keeping me hooked to the game. Like back in 2016 or the summer of 2016, whenever I had less than 10,000 followers, I could sit and play this game for like nine hours a day. It was insane. Like uh, we literally did that on a daily basis. And we would just play like tire defense missions. So like T3, T4 defense, uh, T3, T4 survival, things like that. So we would farm up a, a tire key. We would play the tire mission for like so long. And then that would be basically the bulk of the stream, right? So it would like implement strategy and it would really put myself and whoever was with me to the test to see how far we could go in one of these um, endurance runs, right? To sort of see how far we could get and how much we could get rewarded. And people find that interesting to watch. And I definitely find it interesting to stream but that's gone now, as well as raids. Those are something that I did on stream to take up about maybe two hours of the stream time. But those are all gone now, and that kind of sucks. Um, so those are like the two main reasons that I still play the game. And now they're gone. You know, it kind of it kind of sucks. And it sucks the fun out of the game for me. And it also makes me a lot less entertaining on stream. Because I can't really entertain people if I'm not entertaining myself uh, in the game, right? So there's no there's no way for me to be entertaining on stream if I'm not entertaining myself with the game, because then that way I'm I'm kind of like focusing on trying to be too entertaining, if that makes any sense. That or I'm just focusing on showing people builds and stuff like that, and that can get really out of hand whenever it comes to uh, you know Warframe Twitch streaming because people. Once you show one build, people will just ask for build after build after build after build. And it just goes in an endless slip of, hey, I want to be a nice guy, but I can't show everybody the same build over and over and over again, you know? So it goes in that vicious cycle. But, um, you know, I'm at, I'm at a really tough spot at the minute with Twitch. Like, we've been partnered for about 10 or 11 months now. I feel like I've neglected my YouTube channel a lot ever since I started up on Twitch. And that's kind of bad because my YouTube is like my bread and butter at the minute whenever it comes to ad revenue. I'm still a college student, so I still go to college and stuff like that. I'm doing game design, so I have to stay on top of my... Um, my assignments and my assessments in that, which I have an assessment which is due on Tuesday, which I have to get done. And then I have an assignment to make an entire game because I'm doing game development, which has to be done by May. So yeah, games, um, they, they, they take up a lot of time. So it's um, finding a way around my schedule to kind of do everything is kind of difficult. Um, YouTube and Twitch is definitely my priority though. YouTube will be taking a large priority over Twitch and come Monday we will be back on track in terms of getting the videos uploaded. So anytime I'm not live on Twitch it's probably because I'm working on YouTube videos or I'm just not feeling playing Warframe type of thing. But I do need to get myself back into a routine of Twitch because my Twitch community is a really strong community and I don't want to neglect them either. So it's finding the balance between both of them. Right now, my schedule kind of allows me to um, stream four hours on Mondays and Tuesdays and then another four hours on Friday. And then on Wednesday and Saturday, I stream for eight hours. But I feel like if I was to stream Warframe for eight hours, I would just not want to play the game after that. So I might cut down on the eight hour streams on uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays and change that to like six hours or something. So then we're not completely burning ourselves out. So as for Twitch, you know, that's that's just 
kind of the mindset that I'm in right now. I'll be taking a look at the schedule, getting myself back on track come Monday. So once Monday comes, we'll be back in the loop of things. I'll be live on the times that I say that I'm going to be live at. The link to the Twitch channel is in the description below as well as the uh, schedule down there. So again, I'll be changing the, the Wednesday and the Saturday one, the six hours rather than the eight, just to make it easier on myself. And then uh, other than that, the YouTube channel. Now, the YouTube channel is a completely different uh, bundle of sticks because like, I wanna, there's, there's so much I wanna make. I could sit and I could make Warframe videos for days, literally like, but the thing is, I want them to be good and I want them to last long, okay? That might sound ridiculous to some people because people like offline just, just make a video, goddammit. But I'm like, I want to make videos that people can always refer to whenever they're stuck for something. And with the way that the game changes so much and the way that the are currently handling things, which is really annoying me, um, it's difficult, right? So where my mind is right now, I'm going to be playing through the game and re-immersing myself in the game. And we're going to turn that into a series, right? So I'm going to be combining YouTube and Twitch together in this sense. So live on stream, I'm going to be playing through the game from start to finish. Um, well, I say start to finish, just playing through the game again on a new account. And it's basically going to be a series about re-immersing myself in Warframe where, um, you know, I'm just playing through the game from the very beginning and we're pointing out things that, um, you know, we, we like about the game. And also things that we dislike about the game and need to be changed and stuff like that. Uh, so you'll be able to hear my opinions and you'll also be able to see chat's opinions and stuff like that whenever we are recording that series. And that will be uploaded to YouTube and we'll do about maybe like 20 to 25 minute uh, videos on that there, depending on the editing and uh, how good that kind of turns out, I guess. So yeah, we're, there's going to be a series based around re-immersing ourselves into Warframe, just picking out things that are good and bad about the game. And then that way we can use that as sort of like talking points for other videos, like what needs to be improved. And also like if the developers want to, they can look at that and say, okay, this is what this community feels strongly about. This is what they like. This is what they dislike and stuff like that. And then they can, you know, base their, um, base their opinions off like whatever we put forward as content for them, I guess. So it's just an idea at the minute until we actually do something about that. It's going to remain an idea. So I don't know. I'll probably do that starting next week. Not too sure, but it will definitely probably be next week. Maybe. We don't know. Um, but yeah, so there's that idea. Everything you need to know guide. You know, I want to, it's, it's a really good series and it's going to be good. It's only going to get better in my opinion, at least. And then whenever we get more changes and stuff like that, it's just even more content to kind of make. So it's awesome and it makes it so that I never really have any downtime whenever it comes to making videos because we can just cover literally everything. The one thing that's frustrating me at the minute though, just in general whenever it comes to it comes to Warframe is the fact that like we have these weapon changes, right? So we got the primary weapon changes, we got the secondary weapon changes and they were talking in last night's dev stream about me be changing melee weapons, right? So they've done all of these weapon changes and they've reworked Korra's abilities, okay? So Korra was a Warframe which was based off IPS, so Impact, Puncture, and Slash, your free physical damage types in the game. Um, basically, her ability kit was heavily reliant on those free physical damage types, and they were going to change up those free physical damage types in terms of their status procs and stuff like that, and just how those free damage types worked in general in an update called, uh, or like a patch called Damage 2.5. But then they went ahead and they changed the primary weapons and the secondary weapons, and they changed Korra's ability kit. So I don't know if Damage 2.5 is out the window, or if that's still something that's on track. Because they did this last year, and it really frustrates me. They were talking about Damage 3.0. They were going to change up the entire damage system, and they never ended up doing it. And now they're talking about Damage 2.5, they changed up, you know, the primary weapons and the secondary weapons. And now we're back where we were last year whenever it comes to, oh, DE, we're talking about changing up the damage system, but now everyone's going to fucking forget about it. And it's just like, ah, dude, I need, I need a straight answer. I, I don't know if they're going to change up the damage system or if they're going to, like, keep it the same because they reworked 
the primary weapons and the secondary weapons, and they're thinking about reworking melee. So, you know, they changed the mass rank requirements and the stats of a lot of secondaries and a lot of primaries. Probably going to do the same for melees. And with all that being said, they're probably also going to change up the Riven dispositions too at some point. There's a lot of changes coming to the game. And it's like, we need straightforward, at least in my opinion, we need straightforward uh, answers on whether or not damage 2.5 or damage 3.0 or whatever is going to like be introduced into the game because that's a big deal. I don't want to be sitting making content for you guys in terms of the weapons and stuff like that. Like if they're just going to completely change the damage system and make all those videos for the, you know, Warframe, everything you need to know about Suma or Suma Prime. Like, I don't want those videos to become like instantly irrelevant because they make an impulse damage change, right? We don't know if that damage 2.5 change is coming into the game because they're not giving us a straightforward answer. They're kind of like, oh, maybe, maybe we'll do this. We don't know if we want to do that. You know, if they could just make their mind up because the damage system is such a big component of the game. I feel like we need to know if that's going to change, you know? But um, that's just my opinion on it. Um... It's the only reason that I'm kind of reluctant to make weapon videos, and it's also the only reason that I'm reluctant to make uh, a new beginner guide for this year, like Warframe Beginner's Guide 2018, because I've been getting a lot of requests for that, and I really want to do it. Don't get me wrong. Like, there's no better feeling than me just being able to sit here, play the game, and talk, like, the biggest load of crap, and then just teach people how to play the game. I love doing that. It's insane. Like, I, I, I don't know why I'm, I'm such a nerd. But, you know, like, it sucks that I feel this way, and it sucks that, um, you know, we have to sit and ask these questions, like, is damage 2.5 going to be a thing? Is damage 3.0 going to be a thing? Are we getting it? When are we getting it? These are all questions that need to be answered moving forward to help people make content, because nobody wants to make videos that are going to become, like, instantly irrelevant. Like, that's where I'm at with it anyway, but, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Leave it in the comment section below. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Subscribe for more Warframe videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.